Welcome back to the channel. My name is Douglas and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a piano and synth pad layered sound on the Yamaha YC series. So we're gonna start off over here in the keys panel and let's get back to a blank slate by going to our live set one, preset one. That's gonna reset us back to this natural CFX grand piano sound. Really no effects or anything on this. We'll throw a little reverb on that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize the A and the B layers within our key section. And we can flip between them with this A and B button. And if you notice, I flip to the B and all my screens are blank, everything's blank because I don't have the B panel turned on or the B layer turned on. So we're gonna hit this little toggle switch, turn the B layer on. And now we can see on our screen, we have A and B. A is our CFX grand and B is our fast string. Now we could solo the string sound by just turning off our A panel. So you can see here that it's in the other category on sound three. We can cycle between the other sounds in this category, or you can double tap this and it brings up a list. So you can kind of scroll through that list there and we could say, let's go with maybe the slow strings instead of the fast strings. We've got this little filter knob here. We could bring that down. Could turn our effect slot two on, and that gives us our whole reverb there. Then we could turn our piano layer back on. That actually sounds pretty good with the string sound, but let's actually use a synth instead of the slow string sound. So we're gonna go we can switch between our A and our B layers in the key section here. Remember, A is our CFX grand piano. And then B is our slow string. And let's change that. So we're actually gonna to go to our synth section here. We can use this knob right here to scroll between the different categories. So we can make this an electric piano. Now we've got this reverb effect here. And we also have the filter which kept from the previous sound. So let's actually go to the synth section here. And we have some synths, again, we can scroll through these. And let's just stop on our noble pad here. And let's take our filter Let's bring in some reverb there. Could actually turn effect slot one right off. We'll leave this on reverb two with our rate at about 30 and our depth at about 100. I'm pretty happy with that synth sound. We can adjust the volume of this layer, this B layer with this volume knob here. And then if I switch back over to my A, let's, let's bring this to about 75. Go back over to our A. We're gonna have to turn that on. So it brings in our piano sound and you can see we're on panel A. We're in the piano category in our CFX grand. And then you can see here that our volume's there and our tone is about halfway. It's at actually about 60. Let's go back over to our B panel and turn the volume down just a little bit more. Could also do this a little bit with the filter. 
filter kind of affects the overall volume or or um, kind of the harshness of the pads. You can see as I bring that in, opens that pad sound right up, bring it back, and keep it at about 20 there. Now, if we want a bit of a softer tone on our piano, we can go back to our A layer there, and we could turn the tone down. Bring the damper up just a little bit. Now, one thing that we could do is we could assign the volume of our B layer to our modulation stick over here on the left-hand side. So you probably can't see it in the overhead camera, but let's go into our settings, go to our controllers, and then we can go to the modulation lever. We could say assign, and then you just scroll the volume wheel right here, and that is going to assign the volume to this modulation lever. So now you can see when I bring this uh, up and down on the left hand side, it's moving my volume. So let's start all the way down and let's play. We can exit our screen. Let's play our piano sound here. So there you can see we assigned the volume of our B layer to the modulation stick here, which allows us to control that without needing to really reach up into these controls. We could also set an expression pedal to do the same, but that kind of gives you an idea of how to create a layered sound here with our key section with a piano and a pad sound. Now you could use any pad sound here, tweak it, do the effects and things like that. We could also use the speaker amp and effect sections and just assign them to one of our either key A or key B panels on each of these effects. And you could really start to customize the sound. Now I'll be putting together a curated live set list for church use. So be on the lookout for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions around what I've covered in this video or about the Yamaha YC series, throw those down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, stay inspired and keep making that music.